Hi there wig lovers, this is Heather from sisterwigs.com and today I'm bringing you a re-review of one of my all-time favorite long wigs. This is Adriana and the color on Adriana is one I get asked questions about all the time. This one is in 32F, which is a very beautiful high fashion auburn. Whenever you see that F, in the name of a color from the John Renault line that indicates it has a fashion highlight distribution, which in a nutshell um, basically means that it's lighter up here, darker down here. It is a substantially um, more red, <laughs> dark auburn down here. So it does get progressively more red as you go down the hair. And some people really love that. It's a much more dramatic red and it's very, very pretty. Um, I love a good red and this one's gorgeous. So this one's also known as cherry cream for the record. So now that I've talked about the color a little bit, I do wanna point out that there is natural light coming in through this side of the room, not on this side. So you might be able to pick up more of the tones and highlights over in this area. Um, I have reviewed this wig before. It was almost a year ago with my crappy <laughs> original camera and I have since um, gotten a better one and I want to show you how gorgeous this wig is. It is my favorite long wig, I'm not gonna lie. It's not uh, as long as some of the other ones that I carry on the site. I do have longer wigs, but I love the layering in this wig. That's, that's really what makes it for me. And I really wanna talk about that layering for you because I know that some people love it and other people, it just doesn't do anything for them. And I totally get that. There are certain styles out there that I feel similarly about. So here's the issue. The layering starts high up on Adriana. So you get a lot more body up here that you can play with. This is great for anybody who's trying to feminize their look or wants the volume or has a rounder face. And the reason why I love this one so much and I, and I endorse this one so heartily is because a lot of longer wigs don't have all this layering on top. They tend to have, um, you know, like Zara from John Renault is poker straight. It's very long, very sleek. And it's, it has some layering towards the face, but not, not like Adriana does. And so because of that, you know, it fits very close to the face, looks great on people with, this wig needs trained, sorry. It fits very close to the face. It's very great for people who have, you know, small faces. I'm just gonna make that go over here since that's where it wants to go. Um, small faces, that sort of thing. Um, but doesn't really do much for me. It didn't, it didn't really enhance the best parts of my face. I feel like if you have PCOS, which means you have kind of a moon face, you know, you, you might have a heart-shaped face like me or a different face shape, but have a lot of it. <laughs> if you're in that boat, this is gonna help because it draws attention away from this general problem nonsense area to up here near your eyes, which is really what you wanna do if you're trying to, you know, accentuate the positive and, you know, negate the things you don't want people to look at. So I love this wig because it fits in all the right places and it has all this luscious layering on the top that you can fluff up and get lots of sex kitten volume out of. It's just great. I haven't brushed this wig, by the way. I haven't done anything to it. I just put it on, so that's why it's flopping in my face. I recommend, you know, if you get a wig, that's kind of unruly or it comes with a part in one direction and you want to switch the part up, which is what I've done here. I moved it for, to a different side so you can get more of that over here in the natural lighting. Um, you know, if you have an issue with that, train it. It's, it's easy to do, just dunk it in cold water overnight and then, um, you know, move it where you want it to go. You might want to pin it or clip it into place really, really gently, don't, don't use tight clips and then let it dry overnight on a head form and it should be in good shape. If not, that's what they made a uh, wig friendly styling spray and cream for. So I'm not gonna go into the ins and outs of the cap construction so much. If you're interested into that in, in that aspect of the wig, please refer to my original review of this style in the color 27, I think FS27, that's what it was. It was strawberry syrup, um, which is also another gorgeous color. Um, the lighting's not so great in that video, but it does give you a really good view of the possibilities of that wig, how it transformed my appearance putting it on, um, and on top of that, how slimming 
it is. I just think that this is a very flattering style on for somebody who is trying to draw attention to their eyes. So let me go ahead and turn to the side a little bit. I love this wig so much and I love the slight wave at the bottom. I think that's very, very becoming. And while I'm on this side, I'm gonna really zoom in on that color for you. So you can take a look at what that looks like in this lighting. See what I mean? It's got more of that sort of medium. Now you will also see hints of this darker color that's towards the bottom. This is a 32 at the bottom, which is similar to a 33. It's just as dark. 33 is a dark natural auburn. The difference is that this is a slightly redder auburn than the 33, which um, is a little bit more natural looking, has a little bit more brown in it. So if you ever hear somebody talk about natural auburns, that's a euphemistic way of saying it's slightly more brown than red. And you can see that this color has these beautiful 24 golden blonde highlights at the top. In addition to hints of 30A, which is also known as hot pepper, that's what the slightly more medium of the two colors in here is. So this wig has three different colors to this color, this 32F. Um, it has the 32 base, and you can see that here. It also has a 30A, which is hot pepper, in addition to a 24, which is a natural golden blonde. So it's a very beautiful color. Very, very, very pretty. And you can see that it gets darker the further down the wig you go. And while I'm zoomed in, this entire wig is hand tied and the lace front is, is quite dense, but the knots are very well done. Let me zoom in. So now you can see the knotting. It's very fine, very good knotting. And I do get decent coverage on this wig, not 100%, but very close. Um, and that's not abnormal, that's actually pretty good as far as coverage is concerned. I love the cap of this wig, it's very stretchy. And even though it's monofilament, I don't find it to be terribly tight or uncomfortable on. It's definitely not for large sized heads though. Um, I'm pretty much right at the limit of where this wig is gonna be comfortable. Again, my circumference is um, 23 and a half inches. So if you have anything close to that, proceed with caution. Um, it is it is possible to loosen um, a hand tied cap, but it is way more labor intensive than trying to just add a little additional elastic like you would in an open capped wig. Just, just beautiful, just a beautiful, sexy style. I love this wig and I'm glad I got to finally highlight this color that people keep asking about. So again, this is my favorite long wig for my sisters with PCOS. And yes, I did mean sisters with a C. This is Adriana by John Renault in the color 32F. It is gorgeous and glorious, but if you have a petite head or, or a very small face, you might want to stick to Courtney if you need something hand tied or Zara from John Renault, which has an open back but a mono top. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.